What's up YouTube? This is Shuttleboy, the best golf wing YouTuber ever. Today's video we're gonna do top 10 jackets ever from golf wing and let's get right into it guys. Before we get into it, if you could please check out my brand Shuttle, I'm wearing a hat from it. If you could please check out my website and follow me on Instagram, my Shuttle account, that'd be much appreciated. All the info is in the description and also subscribe if you haven't already guys for more golf wing. Now for the list, I picked out of all the jackets that Golf Wing has released ever and put my top 10, I think, overall jackets that they've ever made. So starting off, number 10 is going to be the Cursive Blue Baseball Jacket. This one is pretty cool to me because it has the Golf and the Cursive logo with that rug feeling to it, kind of like a Letterman jacket. It gets a pretty good overall jacket. It's nothing crazy. That's why it's more at the bottom of the list. But it has like little differences from other ones put into this jacket. And yeah, it's just simple but really cool to me. Number nine is going to be the Rainbow Coach Jacket. Now this one released not too long ago, like a year or two ago. Between the transition period of Cherry Bomb to Flower Boy. Just a simple coach jacket. Um, it came in tan and I believe navy blue it has the rainbow golf logo on the back i like that logo a lot he used it for a lot of different designs and i think all the designs with that logo were really cool if you open up the inside of it the lining has the stripes uh, that look very similar to some of the striped shirts that he's made over the years number eight is going to be the golf goys jacket also a jacket that came out around the same time period really wish i got it i know i definitely missed out on it it's a pink jacket um it's a puffy jacket that has like a coach collar to it and it says golf goys stitched by the chest and then it has the big smiley on it as well another really cool logo he used to use a lot just like a very different jacket from the rest of things he made. You wouldn't really expect it from Tyler to make a jacket like this other than the colors. Number seven is going to be a basic green coach's jacket with the cat print inside. I don't know the exact name for it. But yeah, it was very simple coach's jacket. Like a Kelly green color. It says golf on the back on a classic font. It also has the kill cat stitch on the chest, I believe. The lining had the cat's print all over it. Um, the cat print he's used on like the boxes and the insoles of his vans. Yeah, it was a really cool touch. Um, I think that's a really sweet jacket because it just has that cool subtlety on the front. But then inside you see yet again another cool crazy feature to it. Number six is going to be the Native Cat jacket. I really like the Native Cat collection in general. It has a lot of different things to it. And this jacket is very similar to the rest. But it has little things like stripes um, on the inside and just the native cat on the back. Because the print was poorly made, it's hard to find one nowadays though. Number five is going to be the punk face jacket. So a huge punk face on the back. Yet again, all the really good jackets he's made have really nice lining on the inside. This has that satin lining that just has the punk face all over it. Really love that. Once again, it's just a pretty subtle all white jacket. But it has little hits like the lining and big logos on the back that really set it apart and make it really cool. Number four is going to be the grandpa jacket. It has a tan or khaki color to the front of it and then it has corduroy lined collar. Really like that. And then it has the kill cat patch, uh, circular patch on the chest. Looks like it'd be really low on the list because it's so simple on the outside. But the materials like the corduroy is very cool. And if you look on the lining again, there's pictures actually of people wearing it inside out. And there's just like a bunch of print of all kinds of things that he had in one big picture on the lining. But it has the cat on it. It has all kinds of things all over the uh, lining. And yeah, I think that's something that a lot of people really loved about that jacket and just the idea in general. Number three is going to be the Kill Cat baseball jacket. This released... Not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. I have a video on it. You should check it out, the review on this jacket. And yeah, it's just one of my favorite pieces ever. Uh, I just love the Kill Cat logo and for it to be hugely stitched on the back. Another thing is I love the satin material to this jacket. I'm um, having that shine to it. There's a bunch of colors of it too. Uh, personally, I just wanted the blue. But yeah, all the colors are a huge hit in my opinion. 
And yeah, if you got this jacket, you should be really happy because I think it's overall just such a cool jacket um, with the quilting on the inside too and all that stuff. Number two is going to be the tri-color jacket. Now this is a bit of an old jacket as well um, and it's different in a lot of ways. It's not a typical zip up or button closure. It's one of those half zip ones. It has one of those pocket pouches like those kangaroo pouch pockets on the front as well. And yeah, it's just like a really different jacket from anything he's ever made. I really like how it's super simple with just having three colors on it um, and not having really any print or anything on it, but it just stands out so much. Uh, yeah, I really like how the pocket's a different color, how different parts, different features of the jacket are just different colors, but they all work so well together. And number one, you were probably thinking I'm leaving it off the list, but no, it's number one, and that is the Flame Puffy Jacket. Now, I didn't think it would be this high on the list, but when I started to look at all the jackets that came out, I started to notice this really did stand out. For it to be a puffy jacket and to just have the flame print, everyone loves the flame print, and to put it on a puffy jacket just makes it so much cooler to make a puffy jacket that cool. Then he didn't even make it that simple as to just put the flame on it, but he put black on certain aspects such as the shoulders and then he had that new flame golf logo on it which was another crazy hit so that's gonna wrap up this video guys let me know what your favorite golf wearing jacket is in the comments below please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video guys and please subscribe if you haven't already for more golf wing. this is shuttle boy the best golf wing youtuber ever and i'm out guys peace